to start out my look, I'm using a little bit of the NYX Green Concealer all over my skin to give it a slight tint of green. And then I'm just using a blending sponge to blend that all out. And again, this isn't going to be really a body paint, but I did just want to give my skin a little bit of a green tint, um, correct my redness at the same time. So I did want to add a little bit more dimension to the face and a little bit more of an olive tint to it. So I'm using my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and just using the yellow, green, brown and a little bit of the black mixed in. I'm using my fingers to blend that in the contours of my face and kind of all over the face as well. And to highlight my face, I'm using the Kat Von D White Concealer under my eyes, nose, chin, forehead, you know the drill. And I also use some of the white concealer under my cheekbones to do a little bit of reverse contouring, which basically is just using a lighter color underneath your contour, which will really help make your contour and cheekbones stand out a lot more. To highlight the face a little bit, I'm using Pearl from Becca Cosmetics and this My Makeup Brush Set brush, and just using that on the high points of my face. And for my blush, I'm using Becca Cosmetics Dahlia Blush. I did have a little bit of trouble blending this in, but it's probably just because I'm not used to working with um, a face paint over my face instead of a foundation that's set with powder. Um, but just using my sponge to blend this out and it seemed to work okay. And to set my face a little bit, especially my under eye area, I'm using the City Color HD Translucent Powder on another My Makeup Brush Set brush. I'll have that brush set linked down below for you guys. Next, I'm using the Moon Child Glow Kit, and I'm using the green shade just to add a little bit more of a green tint to the highlights of my face. For my lips, I'm using my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Exorcism. And this is one of my absolute favorite shades for fall and I just thought it went with this look really well. Next, to add just a little bit of an extra touch to the look, I'm doing fake freckles with a bunch of different colored liners. So first I'm taking the NYX um, green liners and just adding little dots all over my face. The next liner I used is Kat Von D Lightning Liner in the shade Fife. And I used this color to make a few slightly larger dots just to add a little bit more variation to the look. And for the rest of the dots, I used the darker green NYX liner and also a little bit of my Exorcism liquid lipstick on a liner brush. And now going back to the eyes, I'm priming them with the white concealer that I used for highlighting the face from Kat Von D, just blending that out with my fingers. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is Dirty Martini from Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I'm just going to be putting this on the outer corner and inner corner of my eyes and a little bit through the crease to create a halo eye shape. So 
So for the center of the lid, I'm using my finger to pack on the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Jester. On my waterline, I'm going to be using my absolute favorite, all-time favorite liner from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Plumeria. I absolutely love this color and I'm using this in my waterline and also a little bit below the eye. Then I'm using the two red shades from the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills just on a domed shader brush and I'm using that below the eye to help blend out the Plumeria shade. You can use any berry or red toned eyeshadow that you have though. And I felt like this look wouldn't be complete without a little bit of glitter to add a bit more dimension to it. So for the lips, I'm using Mary Jane Glitter from Lit Cosmetics. And on my cheeks, I'm using Vanilla Ice Glitter, which is just a clear glitter on the high points of my face. And then some Craft Store Glitter in two green shades on my cheeks to add a bit more freckles. To continue the green a little bit down onto my chest, I'm using the Clover Highlighter from the Moonchild Glow Kit just to help complete the look and bring everything together. So that is the completed look you guys. I hope you enjoyed my Mother Earth inspired makeup. Definitely be sure to go check out Oso Coco's video and also Grisha Beauties. They'll be linked down below. Have a great day guys and thank you so much for watching.